The market is clearly shifting with more price reductions, less sales, and higher interest rates. But what markets are being hit the hardest? In a recent article from Realtor.com, they broke down the 10 markets leading the US in price reductions and Arizona came in at number one. So make sure you stay to the end for a full breakdown of what's actually happening here in the Valley of the Sun. The article goes on to say, that sellers are slashing prices largely in the areas that have been hottest for the past two years. Markets that have become magnets for those fleeing the coastal population hubs, mostly in up and coming metro, in the west and the south are now seeing record levels of listing price cuts. Let's dive right into this list, starting with number 10, South Carolina, where the medium list price is 354230 Portions of the listings are being reduced as much as 22%. The difference since October 2021, plus 13%. South Carolina is another southern state that saw pandemic buyers flocking from more expensive, dense urban suburbs. Number nine, Georgia. The medium listing price, 375000 Portions of listings with price reductions, 22%. The difference since October 2021, 14%. The real estate market is beginning to look peachier for buyers seeking discounts in Georgia. If this is your first time to our channel, my name is Sean Rogers, the lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes real estate team, and we make videos all about Arizona, like this one, so click subscribe. Number eight on the list is Texas. The medium listing price, 371,650. Portions of listings with a price reduction, 25%. The difference since October 2021, plus 14. You know, the Lone Star State has had a renaissance in recent years with the capital and tech hub of Austin becoming a magnet for people looking for a vibrant urban scene bustling with industry and culture, but with all benefits that Texas offers compared with high cost of coastal cities, notably cheaper home prices and the absence of personal income taxes. At number seven, California. The medium listing price, 699,000. The portion of listings with a price reduction, 23%. The difference since October, 2021, plus 15%. California has become one of the nation's coolest real estate markets for years. Competition and price are high for homes near the scenic coast. Plus, the state has high taxes and generally lack of enough housing. But this could be the right time for buyers who have been waiting out the pandemic price pump to swoop in and grab the home of their dreams. Number six, Washington. Medium listing price, 600,000. Portion of listings with a price reduction, 25%. The difference since October 2021, 15%. Washington has seen a huge surge in real estate variations in recent years. With prices already expensive, Seattle area shattering records and places like Spokane seeing their real estate markets go down from mundane to frantic. But like other Western states on the list, Washington has seen its fortunate flip. Number five, Idaho. Medium listing price, 539000 Portions of the listings with price reductions, 37%. The difference since October 2021, 17%. Potatoes, that's what Idaho was known for. The tubers were practically synonymous with the state but not anymore. Idaho's population has grown nearly 20% in the past 10 years, as more and more people have flocked to the state for its temperature, climate, easy access to mountains and rivers, and historically affordable housing. All of the markets on this list were in real estate pandemic boom areas. So naturally, as the market cools down, they're going to be hit the hardest. I believe that has a lot to do with inventory and interest rate. But because I'm not a mortgage expert, I don't want to give you information that I'm not certain of. But I'll reach out to a local lending expert and find out for us right now. 
Hey Reggie, I'm doing a video on the market update and some cities that have taken the biggest beating in the market. And I wanted to get your professional lending opinion on where you see interest rates going now and in the future and how they primarily affect the areas that got hit the hardest. Hey, great question, Sean. So what's happening with the higher interest rates? It's putting a lot of buyers on the sideline. Okay, so you either have buyers that don't qualify with the higher payment, or you have buyers that have fear of a higher payment and what's going on with the real estate market in general. Now, reality is now could be the best time in the next five years to purchase a house because what you have is you have lower prices on the house and then you have sellers willing to give you crazy amount of seller concessions that we can use to lower your payment buy down your rate buy out your mortgage insurance so even though the rates are higher a lot of times we're getting people payments lower than we were earlier this year and the reality is is almost every person we follow in the mortgage industry expects rates to go down in the fives next year so if you can secure a great deal on a house and permanently refinance to a lower rate next year, you're gonna put yourself in a great position to build equity and long-term wealth for you and your family. Excellent information, Reggie. Thank you. I'll see you at the closing tomorrow. Well, the one thing that Reggie didn't say is the only way to get interest rates to drop is to click that like button. Okay, moving on. Number four, Colorado. The medium listing price, 585,000 portion of listings with a price reduction, 29%. The difference since October 2021, plus 18%. Almost 30% of all homes for sale right now in Colorado, an outdoor and craft beer lovers paradise that became fantastically popular with buyers during the pandemic, have had their prices chopped. That's higher than it's been in any time in the past five years. Number three, Utah, where the medium listing price is 560,000. Portions of listings with a price reduction, 32%. Wow, that is staggering. Difference since October, 2021, 22%. Utah saw a massive influx of new residents in the past decade with a population increase of around 17%. The state's abundance of outdoor activities brought even more demand during the pandemic. Number two, Nevada, where the medium listing price, 469,000. Portions of listings with a price reduction, 37%. The difference since October, 2021, 23%. If there's another market in the West that has come to define the current boom bust real estate pricing cycle, it's Las Vegas. And again, Nevada is at the top of the list of where the housing market has turned. And now what you've been waiting for, number one on the list, Arizona. Medium listing price, 465,000. Portions of listing with a price reduction in October, 2022, 40%. The difference since October, 2021, 30%. Arizona has seen wild swings in the real estate prices through the past few cycles. Values went through the roof in the mid 2000s before becoming an emblem of the real estate crash in 2008. So dramatic was the fall in values and demand that entire neighborhoods in the suburbs on the edge of Phoenix metro area were filled with brand new homes that remained empty after buyer demand evaporated. There have been a lot of interesting shifts with inventory versus prices. New inventory, we're currently sitting at 5,814 homes as compared to last month, 7,407. Last year, 8,358. We can see by the numbers, a steady decrease in the amount of new inventory being added to the Phoenix metro area. I believe I know the reason why. I'll review that in a bit. Next, we're gonna talk about one of the trigger points in this current market, that being active and coming soon listings. There are currently 18,039, as compared to last month, 19,523. So we are selling homes, but here's the shocker. Last year, there were only 6,120 homes. The shelves were practically bare, making now a perfect time for buyers 
to get out there. Let us find you your dream home. Number of closings. This information is valuable. It lets us real estate professionals know which way the market is leaning at any given time. We're currently at 4,512 closings as compared to last month, 4,974. Last year, 8,561. We can see by the numbers, closings are decreasing. We can also see that inventory is increasing and now the picture starts to become clearer. This next one is fascinating. Well, at least to me. The listing success rate. It's currently at 38.4%. As compared to last month, 40.3%. However, last year we were at a staggering 88.1%. A quick definition and explanation of the listing success rate is as follows. When a property goes on the market, what are the percentages of it going under contract and eventually selling? Traditionally, when interest rates and inventory rise, the listing success rate will decrease. Don't worry about the facts, figures, and numbers that I'm going over in this video. We'll post all of them at the end so you can print them out and put them on your refrigerator or carry them around and talk real estate at the holiday parties you'll attend. And I hope you have a good time. Rolling right into month's supply of inventory. We're currently at four months on the button compared to last month, 3.93. And last year, there was only 0.71 months, which is mathematically just under three weeks. There was almost nothing available and buyers were fighting over what was. Many were paying well over list price, waiving inspections and appraisals. These are things we don't want to see buyers have to do. Fear not, as inventory increases, as does interest rates, it's a perfect time for you to get out there and find your dream home. Sellers, don't worry, it's still a great time to put your house on the market. You just have to follow the proper steps, be it a buyer, or a seller. This is what we're here for. But enough about that. Let's get into the next stat that everybody looks at with a fine tooth comb or magnifying glass or whatever it is you really look at numbers with. Days on market or DOM as we professionals call it. We're currently at 58 days as compared to last month, 54. Last year, we were at 31. Typically, and again, when interest rates and inventory rise, so will the amount of days it takes for a property to go under contract and get sold. So this is what you would call a normal shift ebbs and flows of the market. It's a healthy shift. It's good to have more inventory. It gives sellers more time to prepare their home properly for the market. And it gives buyers more time to properly select which home they're going to be forever happy in. Average sales price. This is probably the statistic that most everybody across the country has their eyes on. We're currently at 537,785 compared to last month, which was 543,566. So in the ballpark, whereas last year, the average sales price in the Phoenix metro area for a home was 511,268. So you see from last year to now, home prices are increasing. So you don't wanna wait forever to find the home that makes you happy. Until next time, please take care of yourself. God bless America. Watch some more of our videos. I'll talk to you soon.